Okay, hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs bringing you another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make um, a YouTube logo avatar thing. Um, it will look something like this. Uh, now, the main thing we'll be focusing on is this little purpley light streak here. Uh, the rest is, will just be an afterthought. Okay, so to get this started, you can go ahead and make a new canvas. Now, if you want it for YouTube, make it 500 by 500 pixels and click OK. Then if you change your foreground color to have black for now by just clicking on it and going to black, then hold alt and delete on your keyboard and it will fill that in for you. Then you can double click that and then you can make a new layer. And then you need to type in the letter that you want. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to use an X. Make, the, make it to white first so you can see it. X. Now obviously make that a lot bigger. Go to edit. Transform scale. Okay, so you make that bigger. Okay, there you go, there's pretty much the X, and then you can right click on that layer and go to blending options. Then you want to go ahead and make a bevel and emboss, and then tick contour, and then if you go to texture. <clears throat> then you can go to where it clicks pattern, click the down arrow. Then you want to go to the third one from the bottom, which is called light marble. If you don't have that, then you can click the little arrow to the side and go down and click rock patterns and then click append. And then when you do that, it will be third from the bottom. So there you go. And then you just want to go change the depth to about 20, uh, 25. Thirty. Change it to about thirty. Just gives it a bit of depth towards it. And then you want to go ahead and make a color overlay. And then you want to change the color to black. Then you can go to stroke. Change the color to a bit of a whitish gray. Maybe change the size to four. There you go. So you can see you have the X there. Okay. So now you want to go and make the little light strokes that go around it. So first of all, um, okay, don't do this. This is just because I'm going to untick that. Okay, you want need to do that. Don't do that. Okay, so this is now okay. You want to go to the little pen tool, hold, and make sure it's selected on pen tool. And then go to the brush and click brush tool. And make sure it's on about size 7, 7, roughly about 7. And make sure it's a feathered one, not one with a hard edge like that. Make sure it's feathered around the outsides then just click off it and then you want to go ahead and go to the pen tool again then make sure it's on pen and click the second one that's in then you want to make sure the freeform one's ticked and then the one on the right is ticked so now what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and draw your lines so I'm just going to go around this side here Okay, so there you go, that have the basically squiggly line. Then you want to go ahead down down to down and click the direct selection tool. It might be on path selection, just click and hold, go to direct selection. Now drag over all of it. Now you want to right click and go to stroke path. Then make sure it's on brush and stimulate simulate pressure, sorry. Then you can go ahead and click delete. Then as you'll see, it, you can see black lines, but if you change that double click on the layer and go to color overlay and maybe just make it white for now okay so then when you've got that line you can make a new layer by clicking the new layer icon then you can go to brushes the brush again and then go to window brushes and then tick scattering then go on it you want to make the top scatter to roughly about 300 then the count as low as possible then the count jitter I've increased it all the way up just makes it a bit more natural okay so then you wanna then you just wanna follow the line basically and go over it you might not be able to see it now but it doesn't matter you can change it after okay so I've finished going over the line and then you can right click on that layer go to blending options then if you tick the outer glow option and depending on what color you want um, for this to for this, I'm gonna have like a pinkish purpley color, maybe a bit brighter. 
that color goes quite well then you can always go to gradient overlay and then you have the white like a soft white going towards the color that you've chosen like mine's purple so it's going to be like that kind of color and jeff aim to white it just makes it more glowy really okay so then you can go ahead and remove the layer under it by going on it and clicking delete so then from here you want to make sure that layer is selected then you want to go ahead and go on to the rubber tool eraser tool and then get the right size for this I'm using that and make sure it's hard hard on the outside you're not feathered and about size 19 so you can just go ahead and zoom in now to make it look like it's going around the letter you just need to simply delete parts so first of all it's going to go below this side so if you just delete it by going over it with a rubber there you go that's deleted and then delete this bit as well so it looks like it's going behind the X and then it's coming around to the front so that's going around the front then and then that's going around then that might you know, rub out that bit but then I'm going to leave that one so it looks like it's coming through the middle of the X which looks quite cool so there you go that makes it looks like the light strikes interlocking with the X which looks quite cool and then so you can go ahead and click control and go over to the X and you, then you can go to link layers or if you rasterize the type and then right click and then you can merge the layers so then you can just move them about together and then on the background if you double click the padlock to unlock it then if you right click and go to blending options if you go to gradient overlay then at the bottom you can go the bottom you want to make it I'm gonna make it a dark purple so it's gonna be something like that but then the top's gonna to be black So black, uh, let me make the bottom one a bit darker. Oh, we already got it up. Something like that. Ugh, okay. So there you go. Oh, wait a minute. Gradient overlay. Okay, so the top is black. Okay, there we go. My bad, the, the one on the right will be black and the one on the bottom will be like the dark purple. Purely because I use purple for this. If you use green, you can make a dark green. Um, so then you can just go ahead and make a new layer by clicking the new layer icon. Just so we'll make some text. I'm going to type Chrome Designs. Change the font to... You can use whatever font. I'm, I'm going to use Bank Gothic the size down to about change the size to about 40 then you that looks quite nice quite a nice avatar and then from here you could drag that layer and into a new layer just to duplicate it or you could press ctrl and j and then if you go to edit and transform and click flip vertical then that will go underneath it so it looks like a reflection but to actually make it look like a reflection you want to go ahead and click the little rectangle with a circle inside it then go to the gradient tool might be on paint bucket make sure we go into gradient and then you want to click a little down arrow here then go to black like fading to white and make sure the linear one first one selected then on the duplicated layer you want to drag up to the top of it not all the way to the top just to the back, it'll be to the middle and hold shift so it goes straight and then there you go it just fades out and then you can obviously lower the opacity so yeah yeah you have um, quite a nice logo yeah that can be used for your YouTube avatar or anything okay guys so remember to rate comment and subscribe